Welcome back to the second introduction lecture for the data manipulation in Python course. In this one, I'll be covering who exactly I am and how you can get help. So that's me, my name is Samuel Hinton, and originally I'm a software engineer by trade. I worked in the finance sector for a few years before deciding, you know what, I want to do something a bit different. So I went and got a PhD in astrophysics, where I studied dark energy and dark matter. I did this using a variety of different cosmological probes, type 1a supernova, the large scale structure of the universe, and that employs things like Bayesian hierarchical models, Gaussian processes, machine learning classification, all the fun techniques that I hope you're just as interested in as I am. On top of that, I'll admit that I'm a cat lover, and whenever I visit a new city, I probably end up patting too many stray cats. I've been told that's bad for your health potentially, but it hasn't bit me yet, and neither have they, so I'm just going to keep doing it. And finally, if you want to know more about these cat padding adventures or the various projects that I've been involved in, uh, you can run to my website down there, which has both a collection of projects, papers, talks, and tutorials that I've put up over the years. Alright, enough about me, let's talk about where you can get help if anything goes wrong in the Python or coding side of things. The first and best way of getting in contact with me is probably the Udemy Q&A board. So as you're watching a lecture, you can feel free to comment on it, ask questions about why this is happening, or if you could also do this, or why don't we do this instead. Feel free to ask. If you want to make my life a little bit easier, please put a timestamp. I can't actually see where you are in the video where you posted a question, and that really helps me understand what you're talking about. If you don't want to use Udemy, that's fine. There's a Super Data Science Facebook group that everyone can join and ask questions there. That way you don't just get potentially me responding, uh, but you get people that have taken this course and many other courses and many other instructors from other courses. And if you don't want to use Facebook, which is understandable, you can also run to Stack Overflow, which is an actual lifesaver. I'm sure if you're up to this course, where I assume you've learnt Python before, you've probably spent many, many hours on Stack Overflow just like me. Right, so what if you're not having issues with Python, but you're having issues with Udemy itself? That's issues with videos not working, not playing, not buffering, not being able to ask questions or see responses, certification issues or payment issues. Well, I have absolutely no power over any of those, so you'll need to contact Udemy themselves. You can do that with that email address right there, support at udemy.com. I've used this a few times for various instructor-related issues, not being able to see student questions and whatnot, and they generally do get back within generally two business days I've found, so hopefully if you have any issues, they'll get back to you promptly and sort everything out. Also on the Udemy side of things, they will probably prompt you very soon if they haven't already to leave a review for the course. This is something that they've been doing earlier and earlier, uh, but they will continue to prompt you as you go through the course to update your review. Uh, obviously, reviews make or break a course, so we're very keen for you to be completely satisfied with the course. And if that means you think there's something missing or you want to look at this specific example or that specific example, feel free just to send me a message, right? This course is for you guys. If you want to see certain content, just let us know. You probably know that Udemy uses the five-star ranking system, just like Yelp, Lyft, Uber, and many other places. And just like those places, anything that isn't a five-star is unfortunately considered a bad review. Uber takes this to the extreme, where if you get less than a 4.6 as a driver, you're no longer allowed to drive. So that's just something to keep in mind on our end. We're hoping that eventually... Uh, Udemy moves to something like what Netflix did. They went from five stars to just a simple thumbs up and thumbs down because it it's a far less skewed distribution. But for now, we have to work within the five star system. And on that note, we want to make sure that this is a five star experience for you guys. So feel free to browse the lecture topics that we have, the resources attached to each lecture, the bonus problems at the end of every chapter, the extra content after the conclusion, and the presentation of our coding lectures so that hopefully you can feel confident that this course is a five star experience. And if you feel like something is missing, as I said before, just let us know. Now, I sincerely hope that's the end of the admin. I think we've gone through all of it in record time. So in the next chapter that we'll jump straight into, we'll run through how to set up a Python environment, a Conda environment for you to use, run through various coding editors, and then get you guys set up in such a way that you can follow along every single coding lecture that I run through in the future. I'll see you there.